Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing several different tricks on how you can make your Razor Blade 15 run a lot cooler and more efficiently. So I've had my Razor Blade 15 for over a year now and it is the RTX 2060 base model uh, 2019 edition. So it's a very specific laptop and the reason I'm saying that is because the internals are different for every laptop you have. So this is a laptop I'm going to be showing and most of the tricks will work with um, different Razor Blade 15s. And one of them I would only know how to show with this laptop, but you could probably still figure out how to do it with uh, your version. But before we get into that, I've been experimenting with different uh, ways I can film my videos in my room. Right now I'm testing out this. This is the first time I've ever filmed uh, my closet. This I have a shelf right here with some stuff, and then I have my clothes over there. And uh, I just kind of want to see how it looks to test it around, but I'm mostly probably just going to be here for the intro and then the rest of the video might be in a different spot. This first step is adjusting your fan speed in Razer Synapse. So what you're going to want to do at first is open up Razer Synapse. If you don't have it, you need to get it downloaded. Um, it should already be on your computer. And um, basically, you're going to see all of these stuff right here. This is my webcam, capture card, mouse, keyboard, and uh, laptop. So we're going to be focusing on the laptop. You can click this right here or you can go directly to system. It's going to take you to the same thing. And then you're going to go here to this tab called performance. And once you're here, you'll see three options. Um, I believe you only see these if your laptop is plugged in. Uh, but right here is balanced, which is like the default. And then here is the gaming, which increases graphics power. And creator increases processing power. And basically, you're going to want to choose one of these depending on what you're doing. So creator is when you're, um, I guess, going to be video editing or just creating stuff. And then I would put on gaming, of course, when you're gaming. And then balance is kind of an in-between. It doesn't really increase either or. It keeps them about the same. And whenever you're not using your laptop, like, um, extensively, like, it, let's say you're just doing schoolwork or um, watching Google or YouTube or something like that, you're just going to want to keep it on balanced and on auto. This is just going to make it so that your fan speed is super low and pretty quiet and you probably won't be able to hear it um, as much as if you have it on one of these settings. So before you open up a game, you should switch it to the gaming mode. And right here, I have it set so it goes straight to manual. And you're always going to want to check this because sometimes it will switch to auto even if you don't change it. But what the manual mode is going to allow you to do is adjust the fan speed. So I would keep it on low. I wouldn't go higher than that because the more your fans are spinning, the laptop's going to get hotter and you don't want that. So you're going to want to keep your fans as low as they can be. So before you launch your game, make sure it's on manual and all the way right here uh, to the lowest point. And then same thing for creator. You're going to want to have it on manual and uh, all the way low. And your laptop should be running a lot cooler. I mean, it might be a little loud, but I don't think it's that big of a deal, especially if you've been using your laptop for a while. You know the fans do get pretty loud. So you're just going to want to keep it on low for all of these. And then for balance, just keep it on auto. But before you launch a game or you launch an editing software, make sure you switch it to manual. And then um, when you're done, switch it back to balanced. So for this next trick, I'm going to be showing how to clean the fans. And it is pretty important because while you're gaming with the laptop, the CPU and the GPU get really hot. Although it has an efficient cooling system, that won't really work if there's no airflow. No matter where you have this thing, a lot of dust is going to get into it. So if you want the maximum airflow, you're going to have to um, clean the fans. You'll need a toothbrush, one that's not used. For, um, hopefully you have a new one. <laughs> and also a Torx 5 security screw. Uh, driver, this is a special tip. It kind of looks like a little star. I'll get a close up of that. But what you're going to want to do first is grab the laptop and flip it on its back. And personally, I don't put all the screws back in my uh, laptop. There is supposed to be 10, but I have the other ones saved and I only use four because I do open the back of this a lot to clean out the fans and to uh, just check everything. So I don't really like taking out all 10 screws and then putting them back. So once I get these off, I'll uh, cut back. Okay, so once you get your screws out, I do recommend putting them in some sort of tray. I have like this Joy-Con. Um, thing just to have them for now and you can see the screws right there on the left and it is very important that you um, Put your screws somewhere safe. You do not want to lose these screws and just take care of them So even if you need to put them in a cup or something just so they don't um, Fall out and now we're gonna take off the back. I don't know why that was uh, sticky But once you take off the back, it's gonna look like this You can just set this aside 
Now I am gonna get a closer up view of this. Okay, so I did forget to mention that you will need a Phillips one or zero uh, screwdriver, preferably zero, and my camera won't focus on it for some reason. Um, but this is just a regular screwdriver. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of dust on this already. So you can grab like a cloth or something. Personally, I don't think you really need one. The toothbrush will be enough to get everything off. And before I take the fans off, what you're gonna wanna do is hold down the center um, of the fan. Use your brush to get all the, f the uh, dust off. And sorry, my table is a bit shaky and it spins, so like it's not really a stable view. Okay, and sometimes I do actually do this with a wipe. It's just easier to get everything, but my fans aren't that dirty. If yours are very dirty, I'd recommend grabbing like a, a, baby, uh, a baby wipe or something to clean it off. And then just make sure you're holding this down so it makes it easier. And now what you're going to want to do is, once you clean that, you might think, okay, my fans are pretty clean now, I can put it back together. Um, what you're going to want to do is take off these fans. So with mine, there is actually two screws holding them up. There is one right here. And there is one right here. It's kind of hidden under these cables. And what you're gonna wanna do is take off these screws, just two screws. And once you do that, you're gonna want to put these screws somewhere safe as well. Okay, so once you get it unscrewed, it just should lift up. This one specifically does have um, some cables that you're gonna wanna be very careful with. And you'll be able to look into the fan. And as you can see, mine is actually pretty clean. Mine was full of a whole bunch of really dark dust. So what you're gonna wanna do is just clean it with a, get in there with a toothbrush and a cloth and whatever you need to do to clean it. And it's important that you do take them off um, to get all the dust that's inside of them as well as this little um, vent right here. I don't know if you can see it, but this as well, you're gonna wanna clean a lot too. This little grill right here is where the fan exhausts the air too. And so once you're done with this one, it's gonna be a little bit weird to put it the, the wires back together you're just going to want to kind of fit them in I would recommend doing that before you set it back down because you don't want uh, to be scratching up against the motherboard once you have them kind of set in place you could just set the fan down and then put the screws back on I'm not going to do that right now I'm going to switch over to the other fan okay so so I did take off the screws off this fan there is one right here in this corner and then another one right here which will be pretty obvious um, where they're at if you're doing this yourself and if you haven't done this yet or taken apart your laptop before, like the back plate, don't be afraid to do it just so you could check out the health of your battery. It is important to check out the health of your battery. I do have a video on replacing the battery if yours is puffed up and is uh, causing your trackpad not to push in anymore. That will be linked, I believe, up here in that corner. So once you get it, you're going to want to just set it back into place and then get these fans screwed back in and whatever dust you have and everything, get it thrown and uh, throw anything, any wipes you use to clean it away. So pretty much be very careful with these screws as you don't wanna strip them um, for obvious reasons. And as you can see right here, I do have a terabyte WD Blue uh, SATA SSD. Your laptop may or may not have an extra spot for that. And this drive right here is where I store all my games. So I'm gonna put the cover back on and I'm gonna put all of the um, screws back that you need. In my opinion, this is probably the most important step because um, when you do so, it does make a significant difference just by having a clear airflow. Because the more heat that is exhausted, the less hot your laptop is gonna be. This next step is getting a laptop riser. So this is where I have my laptop, it's sitting on my desk and um, I'm gonna show you the riser it is on. So after I unplug all those cables, I can lift and take off the laptop. This is the riser right here. Behind here is my capture card, which is sit and it fits uh, perfectly under. And then also my hard drive I stick under here. And this riser right here was about $13 online. And it is a portable laptop riser, which is made out of a, I'd say pretty good material. And it basically just folds up like this. You could throw this in the water bottle part of your backpack or um, basically just the front pocket. This is very handy, so wherever you go, your laptop is rised up against the ground. And I really like this design because um, it is very simple, it's portable, it's not one that you just gotta keep on your desk. And even if you do want a stationary one, I do recommend this one as well. I'll probably try to find a link for it online, and I'll probably have that in the description. So once I set this uh, right here, 
or anywhere on my desk, I guess, I can put my laptop on. And the reason a riser is so important is because with the computer like the Razer Blade 15, um, the fans are pointed towards the bottom and all the vents are facing towards the bottom. And although it has these little lips right here to keep it a little bit off the ground, that I don't believe that is actually enough for gaming and stuff. Maybe for light computer work, but I do believe if you are gonna do um, extensive stuff on the laptop, you are gonna wanna have some space underneath it, which is why I put my laptop on this riser. And I also don't have it up against this wall. There's about a good two inches worth of ventilation space. And uh, honestly, this works perfectly for the airflow of the laptop. So for this last step, you're gonna wanna open up Razer Cortex. This should also be on your computer if you don't have it already. And Cortex is basically a application that allows you to manage your games and um, how they run and stuff. So as you can see, here's a library of like the games I've had downloaded before. Um, it's not too much. And then we can go to this uh, boost tab right here. And before you launch a game, I would recommend pressing this boost now. Now there is an auto boost option and I do believe it works um, most of the time. I don't know if it works all the time or how efficient it is, but sometimes before a game, if I remember, I'll go to boost now. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna release uh, up to, I believe like 1500 megabytes of RAM. So, oh wow, I actually got more. So that's almost, uh, so that's almost two gigabytes of RAM released. I don't know if that is like the regular RAM or if that's the VRAM with the graphics card. Uh, maybe somebody can let me know in the comments. But you're always gonna wanna keep it on boost and I believe it does um, restore after a while or I don't even think you need to press restore because um, once you shut down your laptop or anything, it's basically just gonna reset. And the last thing you're gonna wanna go to is this tab right here called System Booster. So you click right here and when you click right there, you're gonna see the scan button. And I would recommend scanning uh, pretty often. What this is gonna do is it's gonna clean up a little bit of your files running in the background. And overall, keeping your laptop cooler is also gonna help you get better performance in games because all the heat is not gonna be stopping your CPU and GPU um, from giving out the most performance. So ever since I've been doing this, my performance in games has been going up. And I recommend you try out these tips too. And if you have any other video suggestions, like if you wanna see a review on the laptop, um, because I don't think uh, really anybody else has done too many reviews on uh, the specific model I have and I could talk about it. And let me know what types of videos you guys would like to see. Other than that, peace.